now. You might be asking yourself, I thought we were talking about denying ourselves and taking up our cross. What has this got to do with that? Well, in a word, everything. Well, hello. Welcome to the Simple Not Shallow podcast, where the coffee is good and the conversation's better. Oh, Oh, not by much. That's great coffee. Anyway, in this episode, we're going to pick up on a thought that we had last time. See, in our last time together, we looked at the topic of dying to ourselves and picking up our cross in order to follow Jesus, right? And we discovered how that, too, is based on love, based on the greatest commandments in the Bible. Now, once again, before we delve into this, I want to offer a big thank you to Avenger Claps for making the suggestion for this topic. A beautiful topic. I'm very happy you had suggested it. Now, by the way, if you have a topic that you'd like us to talk about, well, let me know in the comment section. It may be the very next thing we talk about. Thank you so much for doing so. So, where are we going to go with this? Well, you know, I thought that since knowing that denying ourselves and taking up our cross is all about being in and building a relationship with Jesus, Well, I thought it'd be good to take a look at a very small step that we can take to make this somewhat practical in our own lives, in our daily lives, right? And worry not. Don't worry. This really is going to be a simple step. Nothing earth-shattering about it. Something even I can do. That's saying something. Well, I tell you what. Let me ask you a question first. Have you carved out for yourself each and every day some time, say 15, 20 minutes, for a devotional time with God? For the express purpose now of just getting to know Him, not for any other reason. Now, you might be asking yourself, I thought we were talking about denying ourselves and taking up our cross. What has this got to do with that? Well, in a word, everything. See, if this is all about being in and building a relationship, well, how is that done if you're not spending time getting to know the very person you say you want to be in a relationship with. That just doesn't work anywhere, does it? Well, as to what you might be denying, well, a couple things come to mind. First, I think you are denying your ownership or your lordship, your control, over the little bit of time you have been given. I think, secondly, you'd also be denying the choice to pursue anything and everything other than that relationship with God. I I, I think it also is a recognition, recognition, it is recognizing that not setting aside time for developing that relationship, well, is quite the self-centered and selfish thing to do. Now, at this point, you might be thinking, but, Mr. C, you just don't understand my situation. I'm an extremely busy individual. Well, I've got this I've got to do. I've got that I've got to do. I've got to go here. I've got to go there. I've got to, I've got to, I've got to, I've got to. We all got to do something. But did you notice a couple of things in all those statements? There's an awful lot of eyes. And there's an awful lot of somebody else lacking in them, right? 
Where is God in any of those statements? Now, I'm not saying you're not honestly a very busy person. Everybody is these days. But remember last time in our last conversation how we talked about this being all for Jesus? Well, if we are not taking these first basic steps to get to know Jesus, how can we be saying that we're doing it for him? For honestly, at that point, we are avoiding him. We are not choosing to love him. Well, in, in, in other words, we are choosing to make what we want more important than God himself. Now, a fairly quick but highly important note. This is how growth takes place. Any relationship that grows, this is how it takes place. And that growth does take time. It takes time to build the character God wants you to have. Always remember, it is a process. Stay focused on God and do whatever it takes to maintain and grow your relationship with Him. And trust He'll get you there. And, and, and don't worry. No, 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 no. Seriously, don't you worry your little head. You're going to screw it up. You're going to stumble. Every child of his does at some point or other. And God will help you return to him. He'll help you recover from falling down. See, I find it very, very encouraging that the Bible is simply chock full of examples of his people falling down stumbling, and his reaching down to help them back up. This lets me know that this is not new ground God is covering. He's not going to be surprised when we stumble. He's there to help us up. He's helped all the other people recover. He will help us do so as well. All we need to do is be sincere in wanting to be reunited with him and asking for his help. Now. Also note, and, and, and I really do not want to be misunderstood on this. I mean, it's too easy to be misunderstood. This is not about us not learning things. It's not about us not doing our part and doing things, right? For as you spend time getting to know Jesus, growing in your relationship, you will learn from him and you will then do things based upon what you've learned. That's what being a Christian is. Relationship leading to studentship leading to life lived from things learned. And you know, the exciting thing is that this is actually the role of the Holy Spirit. I mean, it's at least one of the things he does, right? Jesus promised that the Holy Spirit will guide us into all truth. He's going to teach us everything we need to know, and he's going to help us live in a relationship with God. He's going to convict us of sin, of righteousness, of judgment, right? God doing his part to help us live in love. It's a beautiful thing. See, as long as our focus is on God and nothing else, no one else, on God himself, he will make sure we learn what we need to learn, that we do what we need to do, so that we'll get where we need to go. Oh, he's a big boy. Trust that he's got your back. And let go of selfish control. And don't be afraid to start where the Holy Spirit shows you you need to start. He knows you better than you know yourself. He knows exactly where you need to begin, which may be a different place from anybody else. But it's where you need to begin. And Always remember, I'm also not saying that the simple small steps are always going to be easy to take. For this is about building a relationship with God, and a relationship with God does require the killing off of selfishness. And to borrow from that poet, selfishness never goes quietly into that dark night. 
See, that in and of itself is a very large topic. And yet, it is the way of true love. It is the way that leads to the deepest, richest, and most abundantly satisfying way of life you're ever going to find. Now, lastly, and I'm going to wrap all this up, but always remember, you are not alone in this. Every one of us is in the same process of denying ourselves and picking up our cross in order to grow in our relationship with God. We're on the same journey, and we're family. Indeed, that is a very excellent reason for us to keep each other in prayer, is it not? We're family, and we're working through the same things. Well, I do hope you found this informative, or at the very least to be a very good starting point for further contemplation about all this. And I hope it is useful in your growth in Jesus. For, you know, that is the whole reason I do any of this. Now, as always, yes, more could be said. This topic goes very, very, very deep. But please, with that in mind, knowing that I haven't covered everything, let me know what you think. Do you agree with these thoughts? Do you disagree with them? And please, do me the honor of letting me know the reasons why you do or don't. For that is the only way wonderful conversations can begin. Conversations from which we both might grow in faith and as friends. Thank you for doing so. Well, until next time then, may you continue to grow in your relationship with the one true God as you spend time each and every day getting to know Him a little better. And, well, take it easy. Take it slow. And may coffee into your cup always flow.